So you might remember a couple weeks ago, we talked a little bit about LiDAR scanning and how we can use LiDAR scanning models inside of SketchUp. So you might remember how some of the results were a little bit clunky. And so we were struggling a little bit to figure out exactly how to use the results that we were getting. Well, there's an amazing new release from Polycam that makes using that LiDAR data much easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so if you remember, we would get this LiDAR data and then we could take it and use it in order to measure spaces and other things like that. But actually bringing it into a 3D modeling program wasn't really super useful because nothing was really flat. However, Polycam has just rolled out a new version that allows you to actually scan objects and then it'll actually recognize things like furniture and walls and it'll generate a 3D model that you can use in order to actually create a mesh for SketchUp. All right, and so this is an image or a video I took directly off my iPhone. This is a scan I did of my kitchen. So you can see how within this, it actually has things like furniture that it recognized automatically. And the cool thing about this is you can come in here and you can actually measure across different walls and other things like that. And this has those in here as an accurate way. So it picked up the door openings as well as the window openings as well. And it put them in here in a way where I can actually use them. And so if you click on the floor plan button at the bottom, notice how it gives you options to take a look at two different kinds of floor plans. So one that has your measurements on it and another that shows your furniture, which you can toggle off and on by pressing the furniture button. If you click the share button in the upper right hand corner, there's multiple different formats that you could export from. So you can export a blueprint image and send that or you can also export 3D model formats. And note that the free version only supports GLTF 3D exports. So um, if you're gonna wanna export something to SketchUp, I don't believe it supports the GLTF format. So um, to export to the other formats, that's uh, part of the Polycam Pro, which is a monthly or yearly cost. Um, so it's $6.99 a month. To me, I mean, $6.99 a month, if I'm actually using this to capture spaces quickly um, is a pretty good value, but I suppose that's really up to you. But if you do wanna export in the DAE formats um, that SketchUp can actually read, you're probably gonna need that Pro version. And so when you click that share button at the top of the screen, it's going to give you options for multiple different kinds of software that you can select and it's going to show you what they're compatible with. So in this case, I'm going to select the option for SketchUp and you can see how it has DAE and STL, which is what SketchUp can import. All right. So if you import that DAE file in the SketchUp, it's going to look something like this right? So what you've got is you've got your walls in here as well as the furniture on the walls. And note that these are obviously not the actual appliances that I used or anything like that. It's more using some kind of a system in order to replace them with placeholder geometry, but they are placed in here in a way where it actually recognizes them and places them in a, in a accurate manner. So you can see how, for example, it automatically picked up that I have an oven over here. Now, obviously I don't have a cooktop and then an oven down below, but it does recognize that the oven is there and, and automatically places these placeholder objects in here. Now, one thing I wish that it did that it doesn't do is it doesn't put those on their own layers, right? So if I double click in here and I try to click on these or their own tags, whatever you want to call them, but it doesn't actually put these on their own tags. They're just all raw geometry inside of this group, which is a little bit annoying because a lot of the time I want to be able to see this, but I also want to be able to toggle it off. Now you can come in here, do a select and click all with same material and put it in a group and hide it like this. And that works okay. It leaves some extra edges in here and other things like that. Um, but you can set those up where you can hide them and unhide them. Um, it's just something I wish that was kind of in there by default. One thing you can do inside of the app is click the little wrench on the lower left-hand corner. And what that's gonna allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to toggle the LiDAR version if you've processed it or the furniture on and off. So you can use that to toggle that off and then export a version of the model that doesn't have the furniture shown if you decide that you want to do that. And so if I import that DAE file, it's going to look something like this. So it's just going to come in with walls and door openings just like this. And that is super cool because I spent maybe 30 seconds scanning my kitchen in order to get all this information. And it looks exactly like my kitchen is laid out. Now, one thing I will say is I've not come in here and measured um, or checked the dimensions to like laser levels of detail. So um, I'm not 100% sure. I assume that these are pretty accurate, but I haven't gone in and done that check myself. I mean, for me, a lot of what I do is I just need the general layout of a space anyway. So like I could use this to plan like a kitchen remodel or something like that without needing to be right on, but I have no clue if it's accurate to like 16ths of an inch or something like that. So um, just something to be aware of when you're working with the app. 
All right, so overall, this update is amazing. I really like working with it. I see myself using it a lot more in the future, and I just wanted to fill you in on it too. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.